Hi, thank you guys so much for um, spending some time with me today. So I'm Mia Danae and, you know, season one started off or ended off very heavy. And I just wanted to know um, how was it recording season two during the pandemic? Um, uh, Karen, can we start with you? Well, we picked up right where we left off from season one and filming in the pandemic was really unique. I think to, to most of us, we were quarantined at camp quarantine on Tyler Perry studios campus. And it was, I won't say it was challenging. It was just different. You know, there are certain precautionary measures that we have to take to, to keep everyone safe, but he was able to do that very successfully. We had no incidents of COVID while we were during, during our fi filming process, we were able to, um, have some sort of a different type of camaraderie because we were camped out together and there was a lot of fun on, on, on the camp as well. You know, we got to do movies on the lawn and there were food trucks. And so there was some reprieve from work uh, on the weekends and when we weren't filming. So it was, a, it was a different experience, um, but it was an enjoyable experience, surprisingly. Awesome. And Ed, I would love to hear about you two's relationship because in the show, there's like so much tension and there's so much conflict, but outside you guys seem to have a beautiful relationship. So how did you guys uh, create that chemistry and how do you feel like you elevated it for season two? Um, I think it's, you know, it's just luck. I mean, um, Karen's just a beautiful soul. And when she got the role, we had to get to work immediately because we had 25 scripts to learn and um, you know, we knew we were going to be on this roller coaster ride and it just, you know, you know, we're, we're just blessed to the fact that it was just, you know, a perfect chemistry personally between the two of us. Um, there has to be a lot of trust. There has to be a lot of support you know, when you're moving really fast, it's the 11th hour, your brain is fried. We always know we can grab each other's hands. We have each other. Um, so getting through season one and then having it be so incredibly successful was, you know, it was just such this relief. So when we came in in season two, it's like we, we, we knew we could pull it off. And like Cameron said, she, it, it wasn't that hard shooting under quarantine. In fact, it was kind of fun. It was like adult summer camp. Um, but, you know, what was kind of amazing about it you know, the, the Oval is the number one new show on cable. And look, the, the, the seriousness of the pandemic, you know, making a TV show is frivolous. But for the cast of the Oval and for the studio who's put so much money into this show and for the network, and, you know, being so successful, it's actually kind of important. And the fact that Tyler, to, 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 to not lose the audience, not, we, you know, we were a day before filming in March when we got shut down. And... We could have gone, I mean, I still am amazed that Tyler even did it. I mean, Tyler could have just taken a year off. We could be going back soon for season two, but we would have lost a year. And when you lose a year, you can lose momentum. You can lose mm -hmm. audience. So what was really incredible was the fact that we got in there, got to do season two. And, and in doing it, it, it wasn't, you know, just like Karen said, it wasn't, you know, it, it was, it was actually really kind of fun because it was a little bit easier in a weird way. Um, so, you know, we're just, we've just been blessed with this show. Perfectly honest. I, I love to hear that. And congrats to you guys for pulling that off. And um, Karen, what can we expect from season two? Well, it will pick up right where season one left off. And so we'll see what happens with the kids. Uh, we, we'll see what happens and develops between Victoria and Sam and Priscilla and that kind of triangle there. Um, there's a lot more crazy, crazy, crazy happening. And if you thought last season was fire, this season is going to take you to the king. It's, it's going to be something <laughs> unlike anything you've ever seen. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I'm wishing you the best of luck for season two and hopefully there'll be a season three. Thank you, Mia. Thank you. Thank you.